Yes, so everyone, let us give a big, big, warm round of applause to the lead stars of Under Parallel Skies, Win Meta Win and Janela Salvador. There you have it. We have our lead stars of Under Parallel Skies, Thai actor Win Meta Win and Filipino actress Janela Salvador. What a dashing, dashing gentleman and lovely, gorgeous lady. Good afternoon to you guys. How are you guys doing? Let's hand them some mics so you can say hi to all of our media guests joining us today. Hi, guys. It's Win Win here. <laughs> Good Why afternoon. You guys are quiet. <laughs> I think they were all like shocked, like starstruck. <laughs> but say hi. Mabuhay and sawadi ka, Win. Mabuhay, sawadi ka, Win ka. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for spending time with us this afternoon. I hope you guys are as excited as we are. And we're also nervous, right? <laughs> <laughs> and our media guests would like to take photos of you guys. So is it okay if you just stay in the middle first? And for all of our media guests, you can all whip out their phones, take photos, so they can post real time already for all of our viewers. May I request for Wynn and Janelle to please take a look at the right side first and smile. All right, a center. And finally, please look to your left side. All right, there you have it. Wynn and Janela, please take your seats. Thank you so much. And of course, the movie Under Palace, guys, it was a team effort. So we also want to invite on stage of course, the director, the visionary mastermind behind the film, Direct Secret Bernardo, please join us here. And also the on stage, let's welcome on stage a pillar of our journey, executive producer Richard Wan. Let's give him a big round of applause once again. Yes, hello. Direct Sigrid, would you like to say hi to all of our guests? Everyone, so adika, <laughs> 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 yeah. And of course, Richard was able to welcome all of you guys earlier. Hello, mm -hmm. that's enough. <laughs> you guys, you guys don't want to hear me talk. You guys want to hear them talk, not me. And of course, we have a lot of our guests here who have questions for the team. So we want to start off with uh, questions from Inquirer. May I have the representative from Inquirer? Hello, and our team will hand the mic to you. So, hi everyone, congratulations. So, this question is for Janelle and Wynn. So, first is, how is your character similar to your real life personality and your points of view? Oh, there, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> how, sorry, what's the question again? How is your character similar to your real life personality and your points of view? Um, I think for as for Iris, she's actually very different from who I am in real life, which is what made her a bit challenging for me to portray. But I loved every bit of it because and dami ko na tutunan kay Iris uh, bilang OFW siya. She's working in another country, and I think if we have a similarity, it's that that it's that we're both big dreamers. Yun yung pinaka similarity namin. Um, for me, it's not really similar as well. I think Par Parin, mm, maybe in the in the end that he, can I say? Care careful, <laughs> careful, careful. <laughs> no spoilers. Direct looks at you right away. <laughs> maybe just the way he understands the happiness that you can create your own happiness on your own. Yeah. Mm, that's very profound. So last from you, is there's any advice you can give to your characters? What would it be and why? Um, for Parin, don't drink so much <laughs> because he drinks a lot. <laughs> um, I think my advice to Iris would be take care of yourself as well. Don't forget that. That's nice. So thank you so much and congrats. 
Thank you so much, Inquirer. Up next, we have Push. Hello, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. So my question is for Wynn. Hi. <laughs> How was the experience working with the Filipino production team? Any unforgettable experiences that you can share? Oh, um, it was so, it was very good experience working with the Filipino team. I think the culture, our culture is very similar. So I don't have to adapt anything or change anything for myself, you know, we just, how to say, like, blend in very easily. And for producer Richard and director Sigrid, what do you think was key on why this cross-country production worked? Direct, you first, well, Nana. Um, <laughs> well, the, this cross-country, what we call it, it's not only in the story, of course, we have um, a character, Karen, and Iris from the Philippines. And of course, they are living in Hong Kong. So it's three countries, three cultures. But it doesn't mean that it only goes for the story, but also with the production team. And I think it works also because um, with the right communication and mutual respect of each other's cultures, I think that's what makes it work, not only in the story, the cohesiveness of the story, merging the three cultures in the story, but also the the process of filmmaking and bridging the gap that will bridge the gap the gap between the three cultures is really the um, respecting each culture. And I think for me is the fact that we live in a very multicultural, interconnected world right now. So whatever you see on screen, on the big screen, is exactly what we try to portray in real life or what we show in real life. Because at the end of the day, again, you know, Hong Kong is a melting pot of cultures. You have people that are from all over the world, um, which is why we feel like this is just really us showing what it's like in real life. Because there are so many cross-country relationships nowadays, and that's what we were trying to portray. And that's what direct secret from the start of the story, the start of the whole process, we were like, okay, we just want to portray what it's like in real life. So that's why it works in that sense. Thank you. Thank you, Push. Up next, we have Nylon Magazine. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. So this question is for Wynn and Janela. So what do you hope viewers take away from the movie? For me, I think the way you understand the happiness, you know, like nothing can buy happiness. You, the only one who can create you. Uh, I think for me, I like how Direct describes our movie, which is that no matter how different we are, because obviously our characters are from different parts of the world, no matter how different you are, we all live under the same sky. So we can all just connect with each other. And um, I think the real connection is that we can really just love each other freely. And then this one is for Richard and Direct Secret. So what, in your opinion, makes a good story? Direct Secret. Yeah. Richard, um, For me, at least for me, I mean, this is our first film, but growing up, I've always been a huge fan of movies and all that. And the ones that I resonate the most with are the ones that um, I see as real, in a, in a sense. Because I like stories that I can relate to a lot. Um, not, I'm not saying I don't like those big movies, you know, all the actions and all that, but I'm saying I prefer stories that um, I can really connect with. And with our film that we have, um, I'm not saying I had an inter-country relationship before, but like I have seen a lot of those types of relationships, and those are the relationships that my friends get into and all that. So for me, it's, it's really being real, being able to capture something that's real and being able to connect with people in that sense. That's how I define a good story. Well, I, I think film is, you know, film is a form of art and we have different perspectives if how, how we view art or even beauty. And, but I do believe that um, having a good story should be able to capture the audience attention and it should evoke emotions on a deeper level. And even if the story can bring you, that story should, be able to bring it to a different world, but um, without 
it should bring it to a, uh, to a different world, but also reflecting the universal truth of human experience. And I think, of course, the character should be well thought of, and you need to have a compelling plot, and definitely thought-provoking themes that even if the credits will roll, you need to have that question, what is the takeaway of this film that I have just seen? It should create discussion, a debate. So whether you have these negative um, or positive reviews on it, as long as the story can create this debate and attention, it's a good story for me. And I think for our film, there will probably be some debates. <laughs> wow. Just, yeah. No spoilers, but yeah, I think yeah. there'll be some debates. <laughs> And kapag ka tatak direct si Grid, talagang ganun siya, di ba? As a viewer, ah, yan talaga ang uh, is, isa sa mga strengths ni direct si Grid dyan. Thank you for the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, thank you so much, Narlon. Yes, all right. Up next, we have from Bandera. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, for Janelle and Win, uh, the film offers viewers a glimpse into different regions and cultures. Were there any locations or specific moments along the way that left a lasting impression on you personally or professionally? That's Peng Chao. <laughs> True. Yeah, Peng Chao is um, where we filmed most of our scenes. It's an island in, it's, it's a province, right? In Hong Kong? Um, sure. It's technically not a province, but it's a, like a, an island, yeah, an, an island. Isolated island. Isolated island, yeah. Yeah, and they don't have cars there. They live very simply on that island. So it was very nice to be able to observe how different the way of living is there and to really immerse myself for my character then. Yeah, Peng Chao was the one. Mm, for me too, yeah, Peng Chao. I think it's hard for me, like, if, if I go there for traveling, I think I... It's hard for me to get there, you know, if I didn't go there for a shooting, but I think it's like good chance for me to go there and pinch out. Thank you so much, Bandera. Up next, we have a Philippine star. Do you have a representative from Philippine star? Up next, we have Daily Tribune. All right, we have L'Officiel. Yes, hello. Hello. Sabay de mai, Win. Sabay de kap. Okay, uh, my question is for Win and Janela. How was it like um, shooting in Hong Kong, which I think is the first time for, for both of you? For me, I, I've been there like many times already, so I get really used to it already, so it's kind of, I don't know, normal for me to go there, yeah. Yeah, uh, same. I've been there a couple of times already, more than a couple of times, but I think it was interesting this time around because we shot in the places that people don't usually tour in. So we shot in, like, another village called Tai O. It's like, uh, it's, it's a fishing village. It's very interesting as well. It, the houses are built above water, so I think that's the best part about filming this time around. Iba. So we get to see a different side of Hong Kong, no? The, not the usual touristy types that we see, is that correct, Richard? Yeah, if I may add, like, um, when we decided to shoot in Hong Kong, Direct and I, we really talked about trying to showcase a different side of Hong Kong, because we don't want, the, I don't, I don't want to say we don't want it, but it's, you know, we've seen all the, the causeway bays, all the centrals, all the tall buildings, but people often forget that in Hong Kong there's a different side, which is why you know the most memorable ones for these two are, of course, Peng Chao and also Tai O, because these are the ones that we want to try to showcase that, oh, Hong Kong has something else different. All right, up next we have a Metro Magazine. Yes, over there. Third row. Hi, hi, good afternoon. Congratulations on the movie. Um, my question is for Wynn. So, uh, Under Parallel Skies is your uh, second movie and it's very different from your debut film. So, what made you decide to take on this project? Uh, 
Um, as I said earlier, that I always dream that if I have a chance one day, I, will, I would collaborate, collaborate with international people or international film. But now today, my dream come to reality. So why not? <laughs> then, yeah. So I thought that I could, like, did it. Then I have a chance to do it. Then I decided to do. Sorry, my follow-up question is also for Win. Um, in relation to what you mentioned earlier about you know your similarities with Taryn, um, are you the type to um, travel alone? Is that your personality? And Kuya? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like traveling alone. So usually I'll, I'll have someone go with me. <laughs> to take those photos. I mean, guys, you need people to take photos, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much, Metro Magazine. And now up next, we have Capamilia Online World. It's here in the front. Good afternoon. For Janela and Gwyn, what is the biggest challenge you had in taking on your roles in Under Parallel Skies? Biggest challenge? I think my biggest challenge would be, like I said, uh, Iris is very different from who I am. So... Um, I really had to prepare to portray her. And medyo, makikita nyo na lang, pero medyo mabigat din emotionally yung character na to. So, siguro doon ako pinakahirapan emotionally. Um, yeah, me too. I think it's like almost the hardest one for me to, to play this role. Because the, the ending of Perrin, yeah, that one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> careful, that, that one. careful, bro, careful. careful. <laughs> Richard is sweating. Be careful. <laughs> I think that one is like, yeah, you, so you have to watch, then you will see what's the hardest part for me. Oh, I, I know you. which one. I know which part now, yep. So definitely we have to watch it to really know more about the emotional challenges that they encountered filming. Thank you so much, Kapamilya Online World. Up next, we have ABS-CBN Entertainment. Hello, uh, the producer Richard. Are there any plans to distribute the movie in more countries aside from the Philippines, Thailand, and Singapore? Um, plan is a tough word to say, but like, yeah, there are, there are plans, but we're working hard on trying to make those plans a reality. Um, we're trying our best to get it to as many countries as possible because I know that a lot of people has been tweeting, commenting, telling us that, hey, we want this in our country and all that too. So we're trying our best to make that happen. And, um, and I, what I can say is, honestly, guys, all those tweets, comments are working. So keep them coming, guys. Wink, wink, just saying. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and to direct Sigrid, how do you feel that the film will be shown on big screens in different countries across Asia? Uh, I am very, very grateful. And, you know, we... We are coming from pandemic, like what I've said, like this may be my, like it's like a reborn, you know, first time again to go on cinemas. And um, I'm very happy that the MMFF was very successful in our country. So I think um, I'm really hoping also that even if it's not an MMFF movie, I'm really hoping that Filipinos would still watch on the big screen because the big screen it has a different experience. It's like a performance. It's like a theater. It's very different when you watch with your friends and families together. You come together on a big cinema. You have these proper projectors, proper um, uh, speakers and all. It's a holistic experience. So I'm really encouraging everyone, not only here in the Philippines, but also in other countries, especially that we're coming from pandemic. It's nice to get out of your room. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I know. it's nice to get out of your room and, you know, mingle with people, connect with people while watching this on a bigger screen. That's true, because honestly, like, um, to, to answer the first question again, you know, you were saying, like, um, would there be other countries? Honestly, if it does really well in the Philippines, I know for a, for a fact that other countries would want this to be shown. So, you know, uh, we will need all the support that we can get from everyone and, yeah, hopefully more countries to come. Like, I mean, the dream is to have literally all the countries, but yeah, we're going to work towards that, right? So, Thank you. Thank you so much, ABS-CBN Entertainment. Up next, we have News 5. Hello. Uh, 
Hello, uh, this is the question and, uh, for Ms. Um, MZ Marfori, actually. Um, sorry. Uh, this question is for Win. Uh, was there anything that surprised you about the Philippine culture? What was it and why? Was there anything that surprised you about the Filipino culture? You can take that. <laughs> um, I think it's very similar to Thai culture, as I said. But one thing that I realized that I think like all, everyone on the set, they can sing like very good. <laughs> yeah. That made me like, impress me a lot, you know? <laughs> Like everyone, literally everyone, yeah. That's the only thing, I guess. Direct, can you sing? Direct can sing. Of course, oh, yes. I can. Sample, oh. sample. <laughs> Did you do like karaoke nights as a group bonding or? No, just the drinking nights and dancing. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I'm not so sure that I did already. <laughs> you already did. <laughs> just dancing nights, dancing yeah, nights. Yeah, dancing uh, nights. I mean, uh, with a bonding session. Coke yeah. And sprite. Well, some, orange, some, juice, some, orange juice, orange uh, juice, right, milk. Right, uh, that yeah, okay, stuff. I can see. Thank you so much, News 5. Up next, we have Manila Standard. Sorry. Uh, do you have additional? I'll go, go no, ahead. No, no, no. Uh, from Manila Standard. Uh, Manila, uh, you're from Manila Standard. Yes. Wow, dual purpose. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, this, sorry. Uh, this question is for Win and Janelle. Um, what are your... What are your favorite moments with your co-star during the shooting? Favorite moments with Janella and vice versa? The dancing nights. <laughs> <laughs> True. Most memorable night. What else? Um, we didn't really have much time to like go around off yeah, cam. That's right. But I think like when we shot in um, Tai O and Peng Xiao, you know, Tai O is especially the one that I think is the hardest one because it took us like so, so long to get there as well. Yeah, what else? Mm. Where you guys teach each other words that you guys are not supposed to teach? <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody knows that. Yeah, by everybody now. knows that. No, those are quite memorable. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think they know everything already. I think the Thai the Thai Street was kind of fun. That Thai was Street, where Thai Street. Which one was this? Thai Street, where you know, yeah, where we had like food and all that, and then that's where you first uttered those words. That's apparently trending everywhere now. <laughs> the pier. Oh yeah, that restaurant. That restaurant, yeah, that was not. Yeah, I think we both really enjoyed the scenes. There were a lot of scenes where we had to eat, and we both yeah. really enjoyed that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Is, is, what about the crunchy stuff that you ate too? Which one? The crunchy Thai food. The, the, you know. Yeah, the I sacral. actually <laughs> already mentioned that before. He. Oh, the, oh, never mind. I thought it was not the silkworms. <laughs> oh. Can we say that? <clears throat> well, I think I already did. What, oh, uh, what? Silkworm. Yeah, yeah silkworm. Crispy silkworm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it's something. actually good. Good. Did you try it? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? <laughs> I did a little. Okay, nice bonding moments. <laughs> Eating, especially when loves to eat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Manila Standard. Next, we have TV Patrol. Hey, Win. Hey, Janella. Everybody's so serious. I know. <laughs> We're really not serious, Win. Are you having fun so far? Yes, I am. Really? <laughs> How was Showtime? Showtime? Yeah. Oh, it was great. It was my first time to, to get in the show in, here in the Philippines. That's right. And you learned Madlang people. Mad, mad Madlang people. Madlang people. Yeah. Madlang people. Yeah. Love it. Okay, my question, Win and Janela, is in real life, would you fall for a random person but with an instant spark? Or a familiar person that you've been friends with for a long time, and why? I think there are no rules around love for me. I think anything is possible. Anything can happen, and you can fall in love with anyone. Yeah, just choose one. Uh, just one? Yeah. I have to choose just one? Yes, of course. Oh, so it's like choices. Right. Someone, random person with instant spark, 
Ah. Or a person you've been friends with for a long time. That's actually hard. That's a good question. You know? I think <laughs> next plot for a movie, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> no, because it happened here with life. Baron, right? And the, your character, Janela. I think knowing myself, okay. I would go for the instant spark with someone. Because okay. if I've been friends for someone for a long time, I wouldn't want to ruin the friendship. That means I really just want to be friends with that person. All right. Win? Same. Random person. You know, it's hard for me, like, if I cons consider someone as a friend, then uh, it's hard for me to change that relationship. Ah, did it happen to you already? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't do any more follow-ups. Thank you very <laughs> much. Thank you so much, TV Patrol. Up next, we have Republic Asia. Go over there. Hello, good afternoon, and congratulations on the film. Uh, this first question is for Wynn and Janela. So we both know that you guys are successful in your uh, respective genres and uh, industries. Uh, is there one lesson that you figured out along the way that you would attribute your success to? Um, for me, I would say never stop developing yourself. You know, no matter how far you go, you have to keep developing yourself and doing your best. Sorry, I spaced out. What's the question again? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, what's, the one le what's one lesson that you could attribute your success to that you've learned along the way? Oh. Like a lesson. Yes, yes. I think that hard work always pays off. I think that's one, one of them. I don't know if I need to say more. Hard work always pays off. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Um, may I ask a director, say good, please. Um, what is uh, a method or something that you did to bring out something new from Wynn and Janela to bring out another side of them as actors for the, bo the roles that they're both playing? I think um, coming from different cultures is already hard enough you know, to bring the chemistry in the movie because you know we all know that we're doing a, a, this movie is a ro romantic comedy or it's a love story so it's very important for me to have that chemistry for both actors and it helped a lot when we did the workshop and the acting workshop and we had that bonding and um, during the shoot they have um, both of them have the efforts you know, to get to know each other. And it's very important for me. I've been telling them that I can definitely see your eyes if you are not in love with each other. I have to be kileg, <laughs> you know, in order for the audience to see it. It resonates on the film. You know, if I myself as a director or as a storyteller cannot see that kileg or the thrill and you know kileg, and then definitely my audience won't feel it. So I think that's one thing that I need to focus on when we were working on it. And I'm very happy that they are very dedicated, not only with their characters and with, their, with the work that they've done, but also they have the extra effort, you know, to get along with each other. And I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Again, congratulations. And we're so excited to see the film. Thank you so much, Republic Asia. And our last question is from Mega Magazine. Hi, um, my question is for Wynn and Janela. So, um, what do you think is the secret to your chemistry? Must be the <laughs> Was it the silkworm? <laughs> silkworm. <laughs> yeah, what's your secret? Direct secret is our secret. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm the gap that bridges them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think our team as well, you know, the Filipino team and the Thai team, as I said, the culture is not really different. So the team, all, everyone are close to everyone, like during the shoot and the crew, you know, so it's easier for us to like to talk, to chit chat and everything and we get closer every day while we're shooting. We all did our parts. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. And it definitely showed 
just in the trailer and more so in the movie. So a big, big round of applause to all of our media guests and friends. Thank you so much for all of your questions. And we have more good news for you guys. Wynn and Janela, would you like to share the good news to everyone? So, <laughs> so the premiere and I will be on April 16 in SM, SM Mecca Mall. Woo! Yeah. And yes. <laughs> our tickets are now available in any mall nationwide. So if you want to buy your tickets in advance, we're doing advanced okay. ticket selling. So yeah. Yes, actually yesterday we saw a lot of lines already buying the tickets in advance. They're all very excited for the film Under Parallel Skies. Again, a big, big round of applause for the team behind Under Parallel Skies. Did it get you all excited? Yes, the about just the trailer and then getting to know more about the film with Direct, with Wynn, with Janela, and with Richard as well. And now, everyone, may I request for Wynn and Janela to please join me here in the giant poster for a quick photo op. And for all of our media guests, feel free to come closer to take a photo of the lead stars of Under Parallel Skies here in front of our giant poster.